There's a, a lot of rumour around, and you will, I'm sure, dismiss it as, as rumour and not fact yet, about possibly a 1,000 Royal Marines being cut, the loss of Britain's amphibious capability. Whether or not there's truth in it, there are thousands of men, women and their families out there who don't know what their future is like as a result. Is there anything you can say to try and reassure them? No decisions have been taken. And we are in a position where we are considering our response to a darkening threat. We're looking at the way in which we modernize and adapt. So we need to look at the way we operate in concert with our friends and allies across both the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and beyond to cope with the threat in different ways. We can be very proud of the units, including all the ones mentioned in this interview, that have served in both Afghanistan and Iraq. But the way they operate has evolved and will continue to evolve. So I would like to offer this thought that this is an evolution of the way the armed forces operate. It's not a revolution. It's an evolution. And actually, we've always evolved. 